Hello, and thank you for your interest at George Mason University's PhD program in communication. I am the program director, Dr. Christopher Clark, and I'm an associate professor in the department. My research interests lie at the intersection of health and environmental risk communication. I'm interested in public opinion towards health and environmental topics, what people think and why, what are some of the social psychological drivers of public opinion, as well as using, using effective messaging to promote effective public engagement and behavior change vis-a-vis -vis these topics. Theory uh, informed messaging, as well as understanding messaging effects or lack thereof. And as I like to say, I say everything from coronavirus to climate change and everywhere in between. As noted here, the PhD program is theory driven, methodologically sound, and, coll and collaborative. It encourages students to do independent and collaborative research on topics that address a variety of complex communication challenges. The program itself is divided up into three areas. Health communication, which includes but is not limited to health behavior, health promotion, health campaigns, etc. Strategic communication, including but not limited to public relations, organizational communication, and other areas. And last but not least, science communication, including but not limited to public attitudes towards science and the role of communication vis-a-vis -vis behavior change, public engagement, etc. The department also has within these areas several research centers where our students work and do research including the Center for Climate Change Communication, the Center for Health and Risk Communication, the Center for Media and Public Affairs, as well as one lab, the Communication, Health, and Relational Media Lab, also known as the CHARM Lab. We also offer, in addition to research opportunities with world-renowned faculty, teaching experiences that include starting your teaching career in the basic course, doing interpersonal slash public speaking based communication, and as well as opportunities to teach upper level undergraduate courses in your area of expertise, depending on expertise level and course availability. Our graduates are scholars who study communication in a variety of contexts. That includes, but is not limited to, individuals at major research universities, such as Arizona State, Clemson, Florida, the University of Wisconsin-Madison and Wake Forest, etc. We also have individuals who pursue, at least as a start, careers in government, doing postdoctoral post fellowships and other positions within entities like the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the Food and Drug Administration, and the National Institutes of Health. And last but not least, we have individuals who work in the nonprofit sector, including the Climate Advocacy Lab and, Gr and Greenberg Quinlan Rosner Research, which is a Democratic-leaning polling firm. In terms of why Mason in particular, and not just the PhD program, Mason is Virginia's largest four-year public university, it has, it has recently achieved major research university one or R1 status. It's extremely diverse along many lines as new students from all 50 states and over 135 distinct countries. And every year it seems Mason is listed among the most diverse universities in the country and recently was named the most diverse. And the proximity to Washington DC is a major advantage for areas like internships and career opportunities. And many students have started their postgraduate careers in uh, by drawing on these connections and close proximity to, to the District of Columbia. In terms of program logistics, the program itself is 90 base credits. If you have a master's awarded at the time of matriculation from an accredited university, that is knocked down to 60 credits, so it's a 30 credit reduction. We have time table, we have completion timetables include three or four year options, and there is, there is flexibility. Students are not locked into a track once they get here, and faculty will support them in a three or four year journey. We have graduate teaching assistant, assistantships, GTA positions available, a limited number given on a competitive basis to our most qualified and top tier candidates. Part-time students are also welcome. They are not funded, but we do try to support them as best we can. We offer evening only classes, 4.30 to 7.10, as well as 7.20 to, to 10 o'clock. And this works for part-time students who may be working outside the university, as well as for full-time students like GTAs who can teach their classes during the day and take their classes as students at night. The, the application deadline is January 15th of every year, so the next cycle will be January 15th of 2021. For additional information about the program, please visit our website at com.gmu.edu forward slash grad, and please reach out to either me, the PhD director, Dr. Chris Clark, the email listed here, or the, or the generalized email address for the ComGrad program at comgrad.gmu.edu. Thank you again for your interest, 